Hi, I'm Cosmin, and I'll present to you my work on anomaly detection in just three minutes. This is an image of a brain MRI, and the idea or the goal of anomaly detection is to segment the pixels that belong to the anomaly, in this case, a brain tumor. The standard way to do so in clinical practice would be to gather the images that are known and have an expert clinician annotate a few of them to create data sets. This can be used then to train a neural network that learns mappings from images to segmentation maps. The goal of it is then during inference, when a new patient comes in, the network will recognize the anomaly and produce a similar segmentation map. However, if the disease is rare or unknown, the network would likely fail to detect them. And since there are many rare diseases, it is infeasible to collect and annotate all of them. This is the main focus of the PhD dissertation, is to develop and improve methods that are able to detect and segment rare diseases without any labels. Therefore, the community developed the concept of normative representation learning, which assumes training only on healthy images and being able to learn the distribution of the data with a goal to reconstruct with minimal error uh, images coming from the same distribution while having a really errorless reconstruction for out of distribution samples. This is traditionally done with autoencoders. However, we showed last year at Mikai that autoencoders do struggle with uh, removing the anomalies and at the same time producing very detailed reconstructions. Therefore, we proposed a new method that combines autoencoders with the Cobalt registration to produce both anomaly fee and detailed reconstructions of the inputs. In GANS, a generator tries to simulate the real data distribution of PrainMR, and the discriminator analyzes and provides feedback to the generator on the synthesized images. However, this introduces a new challenge in anomaly detection, namely hallucinations. We address this uh, by rephrasing anomaly detection as a two-step problem. First, we compute coarse anomaly maps with a latent generative model that we then use to condition an inpainting gun. Diffusion models, they learn the data distribution by gradually adding noise to a sample and then reverting or removing this noise to sample another image from the same distribution. However, as you can see, the input and construction are slightly different. That's why in anomaly detection, we don't start from pure random noise, um, but from a selected time t. And depending on this t selection, diffusion models struggle either with uh, removing the anomalies if the t is too small, or with hallucinations if t chosen to be too large. We uh, propose to mitigate this issue uh, by adapting the reverse process of diffusion models for anomaly detection in our recent work tour that you can see now at Mikai. The field is not solved. There are many opportunities to work for in the future. All the code developed in this PhD is available online. And if you are attending Mikai, please check out. Thanks.